Hi all, it's Kylie from Kylie's Card Craft. Thanks for joining me for class today. For those of you that have been joining on with me, and I know there's quite a few of you out there, thank you so much. This has been great. I love doing this in class format. Right, so going back one, last lesson. We did our basic envelope flip. We also then had a problem with our page, which I'm going to show you how to rectify today. Today's class is this one, which I showed you at the end of the last lesson. So it's a basic paper bag fold. We're gonna start with our basics and work our way through. We'll then have a journal card, a tag or a journal card, and then another journal card, okay? so. Don't look at that one. I'll show you that one later on. That's for next time. So this is Sunday, isn't it? No, it's not. It's Thursday. <laughs> Can't cope with this scheduling forward. So this is Thursdays. This one will be Sundays. Right. So getting out our book. Hoping you're all up to the same spot as me now as well. So this is what we did last week. You'll see I've now decorated them ready to go. So everything's been embellished and done already. As I said, one of these will be a giveaway at the end of it because I don't need two of them. One will go to market, one will be a giveaway. So I will go back and decorate during the week as I go. You won't necessarily see me decorate, but you'll get the gist. All right, so this is the one we had the small problem with the page wanting to come out. You will occasionally get it. Don't freak. This is what we're going to do with it. I'm gonna move this one over. So here's our page. You can see where it's quite thin in here where we've taken the others out. The easiest way to deal with it is with some washi tape. Okay, it'll hold your page in beautifully. Now, I've got lots of different washi tape and it's up to you what washi tape you wanna use. You could, if you want, just use some thin paper cut to about the same width, which is, oh, this one's about three quarters of an inch. I like the half inch ones for general washi tape, but when I'm mending a page like this, I like the wider ones to give me just a bit more stability. So as I said, I'm going to use washi tape and it's just technically it's a Christmas one, but it's pale enough color with just a little bit going on that, and you can see I've done it in this one, here it is in between my pages. So if you want, if you're doing a bright book, by all means, put a bright piece of paper down there or a bright piece of washi tape or whatever else. For me, I just want something that's going to tone in with my greys and browns and all the rest. So that's why I use this one. I'm going to turn my book sideways. Okay. Sit it as flat as I can. And we're going to pop our washi tape on. Now, washi tape is great but it's made to be repositionable, which means it'll peel off if you want it to. We don't want it to peel off at all. So what we're going to do is we're going to pop some normal glue. You could use glue stick if you want. You could use your Mod Podge, anything like that. So about half the width of what your washi tape is going to be, you're gonna pop that up one side of your page. The page that we're going to work on today would be the best page to do it in. All right. Rolling this out, round about to the width or the length that you want. Trim him off just to make it a little bit easier. And then using half the washi tape, sitting this flat, even down the bottom, hang on to it. And work your way up. We want to make sure it's right into that seam where all your paper has come out. Okay. Don't worry if it's crooked because your other papers are going to cover that up. All we're getting is our main bit in here to stabilize this paper. See? See, it's not going to allow this paper to go anywhere now. So it'll hold all that down. This bit, as I said before, will peel back. So we're gonna glue that now. 
what I want to do is just trim this off so that it's the same length as my book page. Try and do it as neat as you can. That looks a bit dodgy, doesn't it? All right, peeling this bit back to where your glue is. All right, and now you can glue your other page. So I'm going to put it right in here as well this time. Because I know my other is already adhered down. So now I've got time to sit here and play with the rest. And back out to about the width of our washi tape that's left over. Round about. I know I've got less on this side and more up here. Because nothing's ever straight. So just work your glue up. As I said, any of your glues will work. But it just gives it a little bit more reinforcement. Okay. Again, pushing that right into that seam and then folding it out. Okay. So now you've reinforced that page where it wanted to come out. Okay. So now you've got a nice solid page again. That's all you need to do to it. That's why I said last week, don't freak if your page looks like it's going to come out. If you need to while you're working on this sort of page on here, flick it over and do that and then you can go back. But you'll find, I'm sure there'll be others in here that will at some stage want to come out as we get weight on them and all the rest. So you're just going to do that each time. Right, so for our first bit, as per normal, we're going to pop our background on. So to make things a little bit quicker this time, I've got all my bits in a half manila envelope. So I did my other page and then got all my bits together for this one. And they're all sitting in here. So what we're going to need is a paper bag. Now, your paper bag can be any size you want. As long as it fits, I'm looking for my ruler, sorry. As long as it fits in your book this way okay side to side doesn't matter if it's longer it can be quite a bit longer but it needs to fit side to side it's just easier later on we'll go through how we can make them smaller and all the rest but for this stage we're going to work on a basic basic paper bag fold and we want to make sure it's the same width or at least a little bit smaller so my book pages are about five and a quarter inches a little bit over or if we're going in centimetres, you're looking at 13 and a half centimetres. My paper bag is just under five inches or 12 and a half centimetres. And as I said before, any length you like. So we're going to need a paper bag. We're going to need some backing paper. This is one of the ones from Witchcraft Do You Do in the paper pages pack from memory. I don't know whether I've got... Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Page 8 is which one it is, and it's that nice grey mottled one. So this is just half the page. It's the other half from when I did the other book, and we're going to adhere it on, and then we can trim around it, okay? As I can't ink once it's down, we're going to ink this edge first. All right, so that ink, that ink, and I'm going to pop that in there so that it's not quite in the center of that fold. Move these for a second, because if your page folds over, you don't want it right in there because it's going to want to curl the page up. So it's going to be about there. We might as well adhere the two sides. Uh, let's have a look and see if that is nice and straight. That fits that, that fits that, that fits that. Now, it's a little bit up, so we'll just place it on. Now, other thing with your washi tape. If you've used washi tape, if you've used paper in about that width and stuck it down, Bob's your uncle, it's going to be fine. But if you've used washi tape, they've got a little bit of a film 
on them. And normal glue sticks that we use to adhere all this down will dry on this and allow this to sit up. So I find the easiest way is to run a bead of either normal liquid glue or my double-sided tape. And I will just run some double-sided tape down here, close to my fold, so that that will adhere and keep my background paper onto it. Okay, and then the rest can all just be glued down. Again, I want a piece of scrap to glue under, so I'll just grab a piece of book page. Right. And what I'm going to do for this exercise is take out my embellished bits. Just, I'm not going to, oh yeah, we'll take that one out as well. Um, just so that there's a little bit less bulk and up and down so that when I glue this, it'll be nice and flat or as flat as we can get it. Does that make sense? All right, so glue stick. We're going to glue all of this, our whole book page, close to the double-sided tape or, you know, a little bit over because I'm going to take the backing off that anyway and you won't have to worry about your glue that's on there. So that's that one. Peeling our backing off our double-sided tape like so. And I'm going to turn it round so that I can actually see this and be over. Are you in shot? Yep. And if I lift this one up a little bit, I can see where that fold is. Because I've got double-sided tape there, once it's down, it's down. So it's just lightly sitting on there at the moment to make sure that that fold will allow me to fold that next page over, okay? Which it does. Grab my scraper. Now I'm just gonna move my backing paper out and just flatten it right out. And then we can trim around it. You can trim with a knife, you can trim with your scissors, whichever way makes you more comfortable. Right, if I flick that over, look at that, lovely, lovely. And that doesn't want to fold that up at all. You'll soon find out if you've done it too close because it'll want to fold all these up. If you've done it too close and you can't get it back off, put something fancy back over it again like some more washi tape or something like that, which will cover your folded areas. There's always a way around these things. Actually, I want longer scissors. Get my big ones. Less times I have to move them. And I find I've got a little bit more accuracy with the big, big ones when I'm doing something like this. I'm not great with scissors. Never have been. All right. One. That doesn't look like it's stuck down properly. We might have to put a little bit more glue on that bit. If I trim it down to size to start with, then we can see how we're going. I need to lift that up like that so that I'm not sitting dead over the top of it. And I've actually got room to move my arms. So, done. And there's a little bit up this end. So just watch when you're trimming this end that you don't trim the fold that you've got your envelope on. Oh, like that. Could you see my tongue crossed then? No, nope, no holes in that. That's all on there. Just making sure I've got that all down. It's looking good from here. So again, as I said before, I'm just going to use my gathered twigs with all of this and just stick to the one ink. Right. So our background is down. We're not doing anything else to our background with this one. 
just want to concentrate on our paper bag and decorating it. So again, here's our paper bag. This one I like because it's got that nice section up here. And I know some of them go all the way up. If you've got one that has both ends the same, just trim a little bit down, half an inch, three quarters of an inch down, and fold over one edge. You can fold it this way, you can fold it that way. So that you've got this extra little piece in here. What we want to do is just fold this up, okay? So that then it can be, you've ended up with a pocket here and a pocket here. I'm going to glue this down. If you wanted to, you could glue it all down that way and have a pocket here. But because I want my side journaling one, I'm going to glue it that way. So think about that before we glue it down. So I just want to work out whereabouts I want this. There's no real measurement. I'm just literally folding that over. And I don't know what measurement the other one is. We'll have a look at both in a minute. So this one I folded not quite two and a half inches or about six centimetres. Our other one is about two and a quarter by just under six. So there's very little difference. The other thing I've found when I'm doing these, if I want a side journaling card, see how you've got this seam with your paper bags? Just make sure that that seam is not lifted at all. Otherwise, each time you put that journaling card in, it's going to want to catch on that. So you can see that that one is not going anywhere. I can't catch that with my fingernail at all. This one's not going to matter because we're going to cover this top edge. But it's just this little bit here that you need to watch. So with our bone scorer or a ruler or an old butter knife, things like that, something to crease it down with. Just give it a really nice crease so that it'll sit down. Leave that out just in case. And this is gonna go here. What we wanna do now is decorate it. So in my bag of goodies, I've got, as I said before, I'm going to be using a little bit of scrap, um, scrap paper, scrap, scrap, booking paper. Say that fast. Oh, I dare you. So this again is the other half because I had a six inch wide by 12 inch long piece of scrapbook paper left. Um, I think it's an old Kayser Craft one. It feels fairly light. It makes no difference how heavy or light it is. So one of it, I've part of it I've used to do the other page over here. This one I'm going to use for here. So I want one piece, and I like that little bit just there, and that's going to cover this, okay? So all we're going to do is glue the entire section of that. I'm going to move this out now while I'm working on this paper bag. So I want, I want, I want, I want, that and then I want a piece of scrap just scrap copy paper to tuck in there so I don't run the risk of gluing on here again so just with our glue stick right down to your bottom piece over all that right up to the top and this whole section will get covered Take this bit out, sit him there for the next one. Sit that one there and glue on there already. So what I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn it around because I'm cack handed, I know. And I want this section down in this bottom bit. So I'm just gonna sit him down there and I'm gonna sit that one right on that bottom piece and I'm gonna flatten it out. Look, and it's all square. If they're not square, just double check first because sometimes your bags are not perfectly square. And if need be, what you'll have to do is just move it over a little bit to cover if it's kinking out that way or that way. But make sure your bottom piece on your bag 
is square up there, okay? So now we're going to just trim along there. I'm just going to make sure that that's nicely attached. And we're going to trim this off here and here. I'm going to use my knife for that one because I feel way more confident with my knife. I'm just going to set that there at the top of the bag. Again, I don't want to make sure... I don't want to make sure. I want to make sure that I'm not catching that bag in it because that's part of my pocket. I don't want to trim it all skew if. Right. And hasn't that made a nice little tab? So now we've got that. A little bit of ink around that. Just slightly, just so that when I've put my next layer down, now I'm using the same sheet. You could use a different piece up here, but I'm going to use the same piece. So the same piece that I had left over, and it's gonna go, it's gonna have to go that way. So it doesn't need to go all the way down. It only needs to be about that wide. Do I like that little bit up there? I do, I think. It's going to go to there. And that's going to be nice and straight. So I'm just going to make a mark. Because I don't need all of it. My, if you look, this is where... Just make a mark there. All right? This is where my pocket's coming up to. So really, I only need my paper to go down to about there. I want a little bit under there as you lift your pocket out, but I don't need it to go all the way down. All it does is then creates excess bulk. So we're going to take it to there. All right, we're going to trim straight down there. I'm going to just use my trimmer for that. Just my little guillotine. Sitting that in there, because that'll tell me whether all of this is still straight as well. And again, I've got tags and things that I can utilise later on. So now we just need to go to the right width, but we can stick it on and then go if we like. So we've got that. That sits right at the top of that. If you want, you can sit it up there, but not glue the top section. But I like to have this as my pocket, and I plan to put lace on this little bit. So... That'll come to there, that'll come to there. So if I sit that over there, like so, I can make a mark for about where my glue needs to go. Because I'm gluing down this side. Find my glue. And it's gonna go to about there. Up there, all right. I do need to remember to look at the time with this because I tend to get carried away and head straight back into teaching and really forget the time. And anybody who's ever taken any of my classes know that I have never, ever run on time with classes. I am the bane of any shop owner's life when they have me in for classes. <laughs> Right, that's down there. That's going to sit up like that. We're just going to trim this little bit off. Like so. And again, we've got another little tag or something. So now we've got that. Not that hard, was it? Because nothing's been adhered down yet. So this is what we've got. This one, we're just going to put a bead of glue down here and straight up there before we do it though if you want something else going on up here so let's say you've got a fairly plain one like I've got here and I'd like something else going on there if I was going to use a stamp I promised you I wouldn't use stamp and it's killing me if I was going to use a stamp I would stamp that now before this goes up so I don't have to worry about this thickness, okay? So for those of you that are into stamps, you want to stamp, 
stamp something now, like a little bit of script or just an image or whatever else, but put it on now before you adhere this piece down. All right. For me, with something like this, so with my other one, it already had stuff still on the paper. So it had images on the paper. So it's not going to really need it. With this one, it's fairly plain. So just for the sake of it, I've got I've got some 49 and market rub-ons here. I can't be bothered doing our own. So I've got some 49 and market rub-ons here, just a little bit left over. And something like that. Any of those. Oh, I like that one. Let's go that one. That would work a treat. So let's just pull this out. If I can. There it is. Alright. And this is the one that I want. With these sorts of ones, because they're so intertwined, really, I suppose would be the best word for them, most times I don't tend to cut them out. I will literally just sit them on. They are very sticky and they will go everywhere. I just use my bone folders like that and just pop it down and just get little bits of it. I'm not worried about going up into that section. I want a little bit of that one. 49er Market also quite often have full sheets of them, which are nice. And you can just pick out the bits that you want with those. So they're just rubbed down. Now let's have a look at what we've got here. That's starting to come up. Yep. I reckon that's about all I'm going to need for that. Look at that. Okay, so put that back on. If you're unsure when you're using them, use this sheet and cut them out like that so that you don't run the risk of using all the rest. Once you've got them on, just give them a little bit of a buff with your finger, with a cloth, whatever else. And it gets, quite often they leave a little bit of residue on the sides, or rub-ons will. So we're just going to take that off. Okay, so now what I've got is that. So now we're going to adhere this bit down. Just straight down, because this is just going to be a straight pocket. There I go. There, probably way too much glue there, Kylie. Let's see if we can do a final line. Not really, not really, not really. Just gonna pick that up so that I can actually get that, make sure that there's no glue coming out of there. Like so. All right, so we've got our first pocket. We've got our second pocket, which is now this length. Our second pocket is this length. And we can work out where we want this in our book. Move those ones over. Grab our book, which is here. Put that bone folder away. And my knife and my pencil, because I don't need them at the moment. My ruler. And we've got some room, haven't we? All right. So we can work out now where we'd like this to go. So it can go in the middle of the page, which means your tag that's going to go in here doesn't need to be that long. You could drop it down a little bit. So I'm gonna lift mine about there, I'm thinking. So to glue it on this time onto my page, I want this bit as a journal card. So what I'm gonna do, there's my hand, I'm going to go down here, down here, and I'm gonna go along there. So I'm gonna pull that pencil back out again. So can you see, that's about where that is along there. Okay, can you see that section? So I'm just gonna glue 
all of that bit in there because I want this to be in a straight line with my glue because when my journal card goes in, I don't want to have it on an angle where it's going to head up that way. So I will still put a bead of glue along here. That's that way. Bead of glue down here and a bead of glue along there so that this bit is left unglued, ready for a journal card to go in. So we're going to start down here. That's the side I don't want glued. So we'll start here. What do you reckon? Come on, come out. No, it wanted to go that way. I've got that way. Going back up here. And then we're going to do our little housey roof design up here. So we've got one bit there. And then we're just going to follow up along there to adhere all that in. Put a little bit behind it. Doesn't need much. Right, we can adhere this one onto our page. Remembering this is where we've got no glue. I'm going to put it round about even side to side and up about there. And I've mucked that up because I dropped it a little bit. So we want to push that right down, okay? Mm, hello, Bertha. You're a bit early. Right, so all that's been pushed down. So now what we've got is pocket, a pocket. Now, here we go, here we go. Pocket, a pocket, and a pocket. All right. Now, to decorate this a little bit. This is me. I like lace. Okay. So I've got some lace down here. Just a little piece of... I don't know, very nylon lace, and I'm going to have that across there. But what I want is to even that up a little bit. So this is going to be just inside of that one so that it's the same width as my paper bag and a little bit off of that one. Yep, like that. So I'm going to use my glue lace. That's the wrong thing. How about fabric glue or lace glue? <laughs> Till I've had a day at work already. Uh, all right. So just a little bit straight up there. Down here, I want to make sure I don't catch a catcher capture that pocket like that doesn't need much especially with this sort of lace if it's a crocheted lace handmade lace things like that yes you may need a little bit more but with these sorts of laces they really don't need that much glue I'm trying not to stretch my lace out as I go because I've measured it already very lightly just push it in. And then I've got my lace, but I've still got my pocket here. Okay. So looking at that now, can you tell that that was a paper bag at all? So they don't have to be new paper bags. They can be any type of paper bags because you're not going to see them. So don't worry if it's one from the chemist that's in a bright yellow like our chemist ones are or things like that you've lost the colour for it anyway. So what we're going to do now is some of our little journal cards. We're flying with this one, see? And this is because I've got myself organised. Oh, no, I want a little piece down here. I just want a little piece of doily. So let's have a look at some colour. You're actually going to go that way. You're actually a nicer colour, I think. No, this is me we're talking about. Right, so I just want a little piece of doily that's going to sit in here 
and tuck in like that. So I want it to come to about there. And I want it to come to about there. So, again, you could do it with your knife, your trimmer. I like to do this sort of one with my trimmer because I can check that I'm nice and even. So where are my markings? Here and here. So my first one is going to sit on there. I'm just going to pop that straight down there. And then my second marking, I can sit that nice and flat. Put that there. And I've got that. And I've got this for other bits as we go. Other pocket facings and tuck spots and all of those sorts of things. There we go. They don't take much. Doilies are such wonderful things. Now, these are just very, very cheap doilies that you find in party supplies and stuff. You know, those white ones. And I've just either coffee dyed them or tea dyed them. Um, yeah. They could be tea dyed. I can't smell anything with them. So, just depends on the strength that I have on the day. And that's going to sit in there. I could stamp something on there. It would be nice. But we're not going to. It's all right. We're not going to. Grab that. And I'm just going to use my glue stick for this one. So straight over all of that. And then when you do these bits, just a little bit of care, making sure you're right up the top. Don't rip your doily when you're doing it. So I'm just lightly patting it down. And I lift that up. You'll find that it's come through all these little holes. See, look at that. You saw it was only light. And from that, you can then wipe it off. So a little bit down there, a little bit down there, so that it's on the edge of my pocket or paper bag. I'm going to grab some paper towel, and I'm just going to pat it. Okay, so what that's also doing is picking up any of the glue that we've got sitting between these holes. All right, how's that? How's that? How's that? She cried. So let's go and find, I don't know whether I even put any in here, any little embellishments. Let's have a look. No, 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 no. Right. Just want a couple of little embellishments. So I'm going to just go to that, which is from Witchcraft Do You Do. And I love all these little things. Now, this one is from their... Um, mix and match journals kit but I've printed it out as though it was going to be printed on A5 paper so they're still fairly large larger than you know but they've shrunk them down or you could print two to a page which will give you that sort of size as well depends on the printing program you're using at the time and mine change for every single um, digital that I get so let's just pop in, and that's fairly dark, so we'll use the light one. Just going to trim this one out, and then I can do his sides. I mean, as in, then I can do those little curved areas. You know what I mean, hopefully. All right. Right, 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 right. Now I can just get my scissors and take those little curves out so that it's more in a ticket shape. How's that? Like so. Just going to get rid of that white off the edge. Okay, bringing this one back over. Pop that one there. I want a little bit of cheesecloth, which I wasn't going to use this time, but I'm going to now anyway. And I might use the lighter one, I'm thinking. 
So again, I'll just cut a strip. Turn that over, pop a little bit of double-sided tape on the other side of that one. Don't need much. I wouldn't mind betting that's too much. Nope, you'll do. You'll do. All right, peel that away. And sit you back down there. Give this some love. As in, make it look well and truly loved. And then I'm just going to kind of gather it onto the back of this. So that it's had a hard life on it. So that when I turn that over, now it's like that. Okay, and it's in the one piece for me to sit down. A little bit of fabric glue again. I think I might have fabric glue on the table over there because it's stuck. As I picked it up and again doesn't need much just a few dobs oh it's so sticky it's so sticky and I'm just gonna pop that there okay so that was a very quick and easy little embellishment on that okay so let's get into our journal cards three little journal cards sitting waiting to go so technically this one should be this and this is just this white card stock that i said i had before that glue should be nice and dried by now yep and that's about that length so I'm quite happy with that length and I don't want to lose that so what we're going to do with him is we're going to cover that again we're going to do like we did with last week's and I want that image on it but so I need to make that mark and trim that off down there I'm going to move the book away because we're not going to need that while we're doing this so that's going to whiz down that one. We'll grab the trimmer for this. I think you'll find it might be a little bit quicker. So we're going to take about a quarter of an inch off that. Round about. And I want, let's have a look to see where that is. That's about there. So we just want two edges, don't we? Because then we can trim it up from that. So I've got a pencil mark on that side, and I'll find that line, like so. And that's a really nice colour to use as embellishments later on. So I'll move this one. And now we're going to adhere this. So we've got our two straight edges. If I turn it over, we're going to adhere that up there and down there. And then we've just got those two areas to trim off. Back with our glue stick, if I can find it. There it is. Making sure you go right to your edges. And don't freak. If you haven't and you find later on they're lifting a little bit, just go back with your liquid glue and your PVA, your liquid, any of your liquid glues that you're using and just put little dobs in there and then it'll spread out when you push them back down. All right. Making sure we're on our right side. This one's going to go in here like so. Down. Ooh, I'm a bit icky. A bit icky. Right, I'm just going to turn that over. Give it a nice push. Make sure it's all the way to the edges. See where it comes down to there, right up into that top corner. Right, so that's that one, and we can trim this bit off. Like that, I'm 
I've got glue stuck to my fingers. Can you see it? And that one. So here's the front of our journal card. Just straight down. Just to give it an edge. Right. Now, in our kits, in our kits, here we go. What I've got, now, let's face it, we all like whale tail punches, don't we? And how many of us have them? Yeah, not me. In the Witchcraft Do You Do Bits and Pieces kit, they have a couple of sheets of whale tail punched out bits. These are gorgeous. These just work an absolute treat. So we're going to use one of these. I like that one. I like that one. So let's have that one. They are very quick and easy to cut out. And as I said before, if you've got them and they're still not quite the right paper to use, as in the colours that you want, cut them out, trace around them. I don't take that much to cut out and then that's why we ink because our inking will take away where we've cut a bit wobbly I suppose would be the best word for it well this is not going to be a quick one is it say so I thought this page would be really quick because I had everything prepared but technically I didn't I didn't have these cut out I thought I did Right, almost done. I know, there's nothing more boring. It's like watching paint dry. Sorry, guys. Could have sworn I had this cut out. Right, there he is. We'll just darken up those white edges that I've got where they're a bit, yeah, dodgy. That's about the only word for them. They're dodgy. Right. So folding that over, matching up our dodginess the best way we can. Have a look at this one because it's got words. A lot of these ones are script ones. So I'm just going to give that a push. So that's my script up the right way. Yep, that's my script up the right way. And that's going to go on here like so all right so i'm just going to move this one because i like my big mat for this because it's easier for me to see the white lines on the black these days so i'm going to sit this here work out vaguely where i want it i don't necessarily want it dead smack in the middle i want it over this line i want this line as my center line which means i can work out if it's straight or not sit you just there all right so first things first all i'm going to do is put a little bit of glue on this bit then like so so that my edges uh, there just before it's completely down i just want to make sure that that's all going to work yep i'm just going to push that down now and now we can glue this bit pretty good gluing isn't it <laughs> and we'll wipe all our excess glue off you didn't see any of that how's that It just makes such beautiful little pools. So, set that there, set that there, set that one there. This can now go in here. So I use it at my right hand. Glue might be a little bit wet on my tab. It is a little bit, so I don't want to pull it too hard. And he'll sit out like that. That's um, quite soft, so I don't want to kill it. 
My other two journal cards. Right, we've got this one that's going to sit in here. And then we've got this one that's going to sit up here. And he can be quite a bit smaller. What I'm going to do with him is I want some music notes with this one. And I'm just going to adhere him on to some music. I need to make sure that they're at the top each. That one, I think, is where that one finishes. Let's have a look. Pencil. Put the knife away. Put that one away. Put that one away. Put the book away, Kylie. And there is the pencil. Look at that. So that comes up to about there. This one's just going to be adhered straight on like that and then we'll cut around it makes it so much easier that way a right, little bit of glue check that that's not too gluey what are we up to 50 minutes we're doing well all right so a big tab lots of glue This one down here, I'm going to the edge of my paper on that bit, and I'm going up near where my pencil line was, like so. I think there's more glue on me than there is on the paper. A little bit down like that. Turn it over. Make sure it's all nice and flat. You've got no air bubbles in there. And onto your other side, like that. That one and that one can go away now and back into the box. All right, and we can trim this one down. Big ruler for this one. That looks a little bit crooked. That will go over to my scraps because I love the edge of those book pages. We'll get used in that. Now, what we're going to do with this one is create a tab. Now, yes, there's lots of tab dies out there, and I'm putting my hand up now so because I have got lots of tab dies and I've got some more on order now. Can't get enough of tab dies and ticket dies and all the rest, but quite often I'll make my own. <laughs> you know, it depends on how lazy I am to want to stretch up there and get a tab die. So here's my finished piece that is just a plain rectangle. I can leave that at a rectangle. I can just round the corners. I can put some bits on it. But I want to make this a tab at the top. Now, if I want this to be a tab, at the moment, this is larger than my page. I like bits hanging out. Okay. So I could have this as a piece that is hanging out. I could have it as a piece that finishes down there. In the other one, we've got it where it just finishes down here. But then I do have this lower. Let's do it as one that hangs out. You can trim it at any size you want. For it to hang out, what we need to do, let's get our scrap that we still had here, and we're going to pop that across the top. I want to trim down there. Oh, no, this one's a bit better. This one looks pretty cool, doesn't it? All right, so I'm going to take it down to that one because I want I want wording or music right at the top. And to give us a little bit of difference, I'm going to tear down here just so that it's nice and wonky. And that's going to be adhered up here like that. That's what I want to do with that one. So if I cut that one down to there, I know that I can adhere that to that, and I'm going to go to just about there. But what I need to do to start with is just grunge that up. So you can see now that I'm just swiping backwards and forwards, not going like that. Because when I tear them, I like to have that burnt look. So 
See how it now looks slightly burnt? That's just a me thing. All right, so I'm gluing to round about there. And I'll grab a glue sheet again. And I'll grab that one again. Gluing to about there. Right. Yeah. Up there. Straight along, make sure it's nice and straight. Trimming that bit off. Yep, there it is. And that will make a nice embellishment for something else later on as well. Right, so we're going to make a tab. Very quickly make a tab because we're running out of time. But it means that if that's sticking over my page now, you'll see music both sides. I've still got all of this for journaling. Now my tab I want round, let's go the smaller thing. I want it round about half an inch to one and a half or you know, about one and a half centimetres, I suppose is the size that I like my tabs. So what's that? One, two, three, four, five eighths of an inch. Okay, I'm just going to move that because it's driving me dippy. So we're going to measure down here, five eighths of an inch or one and a half centimetres, fairly close, you know. And I'm going to make a mark up where that is. That should be that music line over there, it is. Don't you love it when it's on straight? Now work out whether you want your tab dead smack in the middle. So this is four inches or 10 centimetres long. So my this is going to be my centre point, two inches. How big do I want my tab? So let's have a look. Do I want it two inches wide? I think that's just a little bit too much. One and a half. One and three quarters. What does that? That's that one, isn't it? From there to there. It's still fairly large. One and three quarters, isn't it? But that's all right, we'll do it at that. So that's one and three quarters from that center point. Go back to your original lines that you had, mark your center mark. And we're going to here. You will rub out all of these pencil lines later on. And you'll go to there, just so that you know, well, that's not right. <laughs> Told you. Who saw that? Who didn't tell me? Ah, dearie, 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 dearie. Right, I'm going to seven eighths. Is where I'm going. Right, there. Just so that I know I've got it nice and straight. And seven eighths, which is there. That looks a bit better. That looks oodles better. Right. So what I'm going to do now is trim to those lines, which is this one, straight down there. Remembering now I'm going through two pieces of paper and one piece of cardstock. If you need to do it with your scissors, do it with your scissors. Just going to sit that there so that I know something's straight. This one is down here. So from our cut line, back up the top. And the same over here from our cut line to back up the top. And take those bits out. We're going to check that that, don't pull it, don't pull it. All it needs is a little bit like that. So now we've got a square tab that is done on both sides. I like mine a little bit rounded though. Now I made myself, if you've got a 
cropper, a chomper dial thing, a corner chomper with one of those, they will work because they'll go into those little bits. If you're like me and have all the good old fashioned type ones, they're not going to work. So what you'll need to do, I've made myself just an acetate template with a whole heap of different curves. Okay, basic corner rounder. So what I'll do is I'll sit that on there, hang on to it, and then with my scissors, I will just follow that around like so. Do the same on the other side. Hang on to it. And go around. Okay, and then you've given yourself a curved tab. Really, it's not that hard. And if you don't have a die, you don't need one. So give that a... If you want to get really technical, you can give yourself an inner curve in there on it, there as well. But, you know, that's for a later day, not today. We've hit our hour. Your homework before Sunday, because this is Thursday, is to finish off your tabs. So you will need that journal card, this journal card, which is now in there, which when you close your book, you'll see it up. It's up to you whether you want them hanging out or not. And you will need to cover this one. What I was going to cover that one in was music note again, music sheet again, um, but I've got a smaller sheet that's been coffee dyed. So just so it all tied in and all the rest. That's them there. Oh, oh there's that one. Okay. Putting them in. Go in. All right. So you'll have this one in here, this one in here. All right. That's your homework. Thanks for joining class with me again today. And until next time, happy crafting, guys. Bye.